I believe every sector, every organization should engage their staff because their staff has all the answers that they need. 70 to 80 percent of the people want challenge. They want to feel good at the end of the day. They want to wake up in the morning and they want to do something bigger than themselves. But if you don't give them initiative, you don't challenge them, you're going to get mediocre. This course has been extremely well organized, uh, very well structured, great content. I uh, love the flow, the way that uh, the concepts and ideas all uh, are building on one another so that we're ending up with a holistic picture of how to actually uh, understand and, and apply lean techniques. CG is a very committed lean coach. He strongly believes in applying dedication and passion in the workforce, and that if you can engage your employees in a most purposeful way, you have huge improvements in your organization. We embarked on the Lean process about a year ago, and what we found was that there was a lot of unnecessary work being done. For instance, patients uh, who were scheduled to have certain investigations did not have them done before their next scheduled visit. We didn't realize that they didn't have it done until very close to that visit, and in some cases had to cancel the visit in order to get those investigations done, resulting in uh, significant problems uh, for the patients and in some cases for cardiologists to make sure that their clinics were full. We brought Lean in uh, because we wanted to identify some of the inefficiency at Pace Cardiology. Um, we do a lot of work uh, with patients and we wanted to make sure that our patient satisfaction was high and we reduced our wait times. I think any organization that considers bringing in Lean Coach would really benefit from a coach like CJ who is very passionate, uh, dedicated and committed to really making a difference uh, in your organization with your people. When we come into an organization, the first thing we do is we try to understand their purpose. Number one thing, we sit down with their um, leaders and we try to look at the purpose, the vision, the mission, the values. Then we talk about what is your customer saying about you. Then we will try to find out have you even converted your purpose, your voice of the customer into your key objectives, into key performance measures. Once we have understood that, then we ask them, do you even measure? Do you even have targets? After that, we ask them, okay, let's create a structure where you focus on your purpose and your key objectives on a daily basis. That's it. That was the process chain. Four months changed into one day. As soon as we ask them why inefficiencies, pains, roadblocks starts to come up, and then we start to teach them, okay, how to do problem solving, how to do process improvement. So please remember, Lean is not about jumping straight into the problem. Lean is about creating a culture of continuous improvement where everybody is accountable. CJ has over 23 years of experience applying lean methodologies uh, across many sectors. What I really like about his experience is that he worked for a Japanese company, Honda, and that's where a lot of the lean principles have come from. It is Toyota production manufacturing system that's applied in a lot of Japanese companies. So he lived and breathed the culture and the know-how of how to implement and transform organization with lean. If you're really looking for real change. You want to think about CJ as your lean coach. He's fearless. He will push and challenge to move forward. He won't let you move back because he's always going to be a few steps ahead and uh, moving everybody along.